Yeah, yeah. Put that back in there. Yeah, I've got a couple more waters. Put the sandwiches in the fridge and uh, set the plan for the day. Looks like it's going to be warm in this oven. and then just went along unpicking the spot where I was just needs a bit of dressing now and a lot of it rolled off because it was only half spot welded so yeah just caught on the edge yeah dress it up try the new one good is you can use like things obviously are supposed to be parallel aren't they so use the back window line you go down there you go and you see so at least we know that's level for what the car's supposed to be next thing is let's measure the aperture both sides okay that's temporary and just put a couple of tack welds on the top dash rail after we've measured a few bits and bobs. Yeah. So yeah. And just got a couple of tacks just on the inner wings just at the moment, just at the tops. But that's fitting. It's gonna be pretty well. We had it clamped in just now anyway. Bottom dash rail out. That's not easy. All a bit bent and twisted, but we're straightening that. It's just cosmetic anyway, isn't it really to hold the cardboard on to stop your, your keys falling through. So yeah, just making up some little brackets now to go on the end to weld the dash rail too. That's doing that. You've got a little suede there just to tuck under the top. Yeah, that, that's it. That tucks under that top. And that just goes behind that one. You've got the same problem on this side, so it might pay to put this in, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. What we're good. talking about is that, uh, the inner wing. The inner wing, the inner wing wraps around and actually it's flat on the back of that panel. So when the factory, I think I've seen it before, they're spot welded down there. I think they're spot welded before that panel goes in so they can get the clamps around ching, 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 all the way out. This side's got its panel already in there sort of thing. Sometimes you don't have some problem because when you buy repair panels, this is an end machine one, so it's actually come whole like the original Mark 1 was. Um, but when you buy Mark 1A panels now, they're just separate and you're supposed to just weld them on however you want to, like we did on the Mark 1. Just welded tabs. Just welded tabs. I don't know what the dimension is on this. Just test fitting. There's some nice sort of weather steering bolt, steering column bolts go through. So. Oh, that's got six inches on it, it's got to go down. Just popped a couple of bolts through where the steering, the steering column bolts to, forces that. Just put a clamp in the middle there. We've just nut and bolted that side panel just for now, tiny little nuts and bolts. As my dad says, a bit slower to do, but at least you can change it easily. And uh, yeah, so. Get in there. Take this block out. Okay. Yeah.
So yep, just mark through, make sure that's parallel with the heel board and the floor. And also, so we're just putting a couple of little chips in. These old end machine floors are definitely a little bit thicker, aren't they? Mm. Gosh, load bed done. From the factory, these would have been spot welded along here. Yeah, big, big arms. Big arms. Oh, I suspect they would have done that before they put the rear firewall in. Yeah. But we don't have big arms. So we're going to have to plug weld it and just be careful and grind it down. So. Side posts in. So, across that side, 50 inches. Looking nice. Oh, that corner yeah. going. Yeah, we want to need to stretch this floor and along that way a bit. But it's quite high in the middle, so if that's squashed. Yeah. In a wing to the hill board looks good though, doesn't it? So that's a good sign. So that's. Yeah. And the subframe holes are very equal as well. They're compared notches. to where those yeah. the little notches are, which are never quite right anyway for well, some reason. No. I don't think they're I think they're manufacturing or they copied them, you know. Yeah. Or maybe where the original might oh, yeah. Okay. yeah, we're getting there. One of my dad's sorting out the front floors. Just working on uh, this little magnum repair panel. A bit pitted up here, could do with being higher, but it is what it is. So yeah, getting there. Just the curvature is not quite right, so it's not sitting all the way in. Just need to trim it a little bit. Put a flange on there. Basically, keeping that one as a guide, because it's still got a flange on it, so we've got dimensions. We can do all sorts. Always work with the worst side first. So you've got the good side to then work off. Um. The, are they all the bolts tight on that mounting this side? No. Okay. Seals tacked in. Floor bolted, tacked. Pretty solid now. Definitely feel strength coming back, even with just a few tacks. Got a few spot welds on things, keep tripping, but if we go slowly, it seems to be all right. So yeah. It's a front end to finish. Um, just got a bit distracted as we do. Um, just cut the rear arch out. Um, using saloon arches, I just don't think there's too much difference. But, uh, yeah. Pencil. You can always trim it, trim it off when it's in situ anyway. Yeah, so it just looks like the saloon arch is just a, a bit longer because obviously the low bed's flat on the air. Uh... I'm just wondering whether that's it. Let's go with that. Uh, maybe, maybe. Yeah, maybe just a. Passenger side, cut out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's got more of a, the lip left on it. Even though it wasn't welded all the way along, it seemed like it was only welded here and here. But yeah, that's got a lip, a clear lip, I think, all the way along. 
because uh, that one's obviously rusted away in the middle of it. What's you got that off here? But I can have another look at some other cars, whether it is. Alright, passenger side one's starting to go in. Yeah, not much left in the rear quarters, but hey ho, we can work with them, can't we? No, that. We'll have to. So, yeah, apart from slightly extra length on the front of the arches, they seem to be going on alright, so just need a bit of trimming up afterwards. Just there, basically, just bottom, you know, they're just coming down too far, look. But that's not an issue. Again, little screws and nuts and nuts and screws holding them in place. Getting tired now, so end of the day soon, right? Yes, cows. Uh, maybe just pizzas for tea tonight. So, uh, yeah. Passenger side arch bolted in. Couple of tacks just to see what it's uh, sold it so I can cut them off if needed and everything. But just get things uh, a little bit solid. And uh, yeah, we're just going to play about last half hour. Repairing the wheel arch or trying to make the uh, little repair panel. All the purists out there. Lovely. Yeah, decided to pack up and go have a clean, have some dinner. Come back one more day tomorrow, so yeah. We're getting there. Yeah, a lot more solid now. It really is. Top dash rail, bottom dash rail, tacked. Looking good. Seals, everything to the floor. Everything's joined together now, technically, so you could drive it. Um, yeah. So yeah, a lot more work to be done on the front end, but the, the, the bulk of the hard stuff's done. So we've done front ends before. So yeah, got to do all the welding of the inner A panels yet, but we'll get the doors back on tomorrow. Double check the alignment, always worth keeping on your, putting your doors back on. Keep an eye out for anything moving. Still got roots to do and sort, stuff like that, but that's another day. Yeah. So yeah, see what we can get done tomorrow, Dad. <laughs>